In court, the prosecution produced footage of the rehearsals as evidence that Michael was on his way back to his best. But the judge declined the defense's request to show outtakes from the documentary that they believe would reveal Jackson was struggling. What about all the dreams that you said was yours and mine? The producer, Kenny Ortega, had made several statements. He was going to quit. This could not go on. If Michael was not going to do what he was expected to do, they could not have a show. And they could not get Michael to conform to what they wanted. Michael, on the other hand, was saying they were working him too much. He, was going, he did not want to be worked as a machine. He felt like a machine. <laughs> With all 50 shows sold out, Ortega's email had an immediate impact. A crisis meeting was called at Jackson's home with Michael, Ortega, Dr. Murray, and Randy Phillips, the CEO of AEG Live, the concert promoters. Dr. Murray spoke for Michael on the situation and uh, guaranteed us that Michael would get into it, would connect. According to Murray, Randy Phillips took him aside to warn him of the dire financial consequences to Jackson if the London concerts were cancelled. That's when I got the shock. Randy Phillips asked that I just step out the living room when the meeting had ended. And this is him, he's, you know, grinding his teeth. He does not have a fucking cent. A fucking cent. What's this bullshit all about? Listen, this guy is on next to Skid Row. He's going to be homeless. The fucking popsicles that his children are sucking on. Look, those kids. What's that all about? Nine security guards? Why does he need that? I'm paying for that shit. I'm paying for the toilet paper he wipes his ass with. He doesn't have a fucking cent. And if he don't get this show done, he's over. This is it. This is the last chance that he has to earn any kind of money. He's ruined. Financially, he has nothing. Zero. Under oath, Randy Phillips denied any such conversation. You did not go to Dr. Murray after the meeting and tell him anything? No. All right. You don't know if Kenny Ortega did? No. We all left together, so I don't think so. Only two people will ever know whether that conversation took place. And he was upset that I... Uh... He, he said, I, I should stop trying to be an amateur doctor and psychologist and be the director and allow Michael's health to him.